Good evening, Internet. The Real Shroom here, and do you hear those creepy sounds? Faintly? Well, those sounds mean that it's time for part 8 of my playthrough of Alan Wake 2, the release by Remedy that came out just a little bit ago in the year 2023. And I don't know what to say about this game. It's amazing so far. I have every reason to believe it will continue to be. I think we're getting pretty deep into it, so maybe we're closing on the end pretty soon, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get into the gameplay. I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. So, we're trying to find Tor. Who, I think... is in the wellness center, right? Which is locked. I need a code for that. Ati. So I gotta find a key or something. Need the key. Trailer park key, the clicker. Clicker doesn't open doors in the real world, apparently. Pretty sure I searched everywhere, but I'll give the whole place once over. Ah, uh, this plant is very sticky. have the key. All right, need a key. Who's got a key? This is Tor's room, I think. And he hit himself on the head with a hammer? I think that's what, what we were told happened. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Is there anything I need to do in my mind place? The Anderson brothers. Odin seems really worried about his brother. I should see if Tor's in his room. Tor had some kind of accident. Clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Isn't it already kind of happening? Tor's bedroom has been trashed. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here.
Fact versus fiction. <laughs> so I have a pick with me, my mom, Tor, and Odin. The cult of the tree. Or later. Bunch boxes. <clears throat> nah. She's mentioned she's been making them for Rose. Okay. That's everything there is to do in my mind place at the moment, I believe. Got these weird poems. Oh, I see. There's a dart. There's a dart in the picture. Talk to Rose. This lady. Alright, let's talk to Rose. I think she's on the first floor. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Okay. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Is that the same Rose who told me that my daughter drowned, who was in the diner? I think it is. So she works two jobs? Be ready, Saga. Oh, that Hello? doesn't sound good. Tor? It's Saga Anderson. Hey, 
inventory full. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on the floor by phone, burns on his hands and cut on his head. He's out cold, so brought him here, been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. VB. Who's VB? Must be locked from the other side. Rehabilitation. It's controlled remotely. Creepy noises. So, I was editing episode one, and I actually, I found a shotgun. It's in the general store of like the very first area that you explore. But, after I picked it up, I didn't save my game, and then I died, and then I didn't go back and get the shotgun again. So the shotgun is sitting in the general store. So we are supposed to have had it all this time. Which I guess... is a testament to both our skill and our uh, stupidity. We'll see if I'm able to beat the game without it. Maybe at some point I'll be able to uh, grab it again. I mean, the game is designed so that you don't need it, because you could miss it. Like, you absolutely could not solve the pu puzzle to retrieve it, and you would not have it. So, they have to design the game or with it the possibility in mind that you don't have the shotgun. This door needs a knob. A security computer. Interesting. 
inventory full. Vladimir Bloom. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Cult of the Three welcomes you. You've been accepted into the strategic ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next full moon, next new moon, as is tradition. The cult of the tree welcomes you. Okay. Hurrah, my acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Do svidania, do svidania, do svidania to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about to take about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month will change everything. I had to take over, take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Keeping track of the moon. Yes, that is our VB. It would appear. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. So, the next full moon. 1508. So that would be August 15th. So what is the next full moon after that? Next new moon, the 16th. So it's either 08, 16, or 16, 08. Guessing. Oh, but it's... Hmm. What year is it? 2023. Maybe it's his day that he was accepted. Take place the day after the next new moon. Okay, so the 17th. Open. Yep. The doors are open. Blum's workroom, private. Oh, I need a knob for that door. Oh, 
Uh oh. That hurt you? Whoa, you're still alive? Are you gone? Wow. That was kind of messed up. Let's put you on two for now. I need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. His hammer. That's Mjolnir. Lost and found. Mittens homemade. A notebook full of daily meal plans. A nice fountain pen. An antique hair clip. Very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. Found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I bought that tea that you said you like. I can make you a cup if you want. Stop doing that. A flare. Who's that? Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go. Damn. Tor? There's an overlap here. Did Cynthia pull Tor in? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both yeah, saw that is him the going same. To the that pond. is the same Rose. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? 
Or is this the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tora go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? What do you call a lamp lady without a lamp? A lampless lady, I would say. A lady who formerly was a lamp lady. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. Silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. You're kind of a psycho. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, <laughs> good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! Exciting! Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly <laughs> don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> Thrills. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Evacuate the nursing home from the supernatural darkness drills. Okay, so there's stuff for me to do here. Profiling. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. 
Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Your mom's name is Freya. Her name is Saga. It's down task. The record is in the museum. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. She did? Check the nursing home's museum for the record. Good luck with your hero stuff, partner. I've got plenty of exciting things to take care of for Alan. I don't like you, Rose. So there's stuff back in the wellness center. Should I go get it? I mean, it's just a flare and like a, a healing pad. Nothing too crazy. Eh, I'm not gonna bother. So there's some minor items back in the wellness center, but I'm just going to continue with the, with the quest. Do you hear his voice in your head too? Oh. Can't open this with my bare hands. Oh, can I use her key? Oh, that's only for the electronically locked doors. There's the jukebox. Museum. Conversation, new choices. There's someone out there. His drunken fits again. The emergency muster point. Is there anyone who didn't show up? You, Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If they oh. aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? 
Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, <laughs> Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life, and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Mandy May, are you all right? Oh, her hands are You're all bleeding. bloody. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, very. Thank you. Never a compromise on quality. Bizarre. That's my motto. That we'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. <laughs> Listening to you kind of makes me feel like I'm on drugs. All right, the museum is what? On the top floor? Ati's room is there. Oh no, it's uh it's on the second floor. Old Guards of Old Gods of Asgard Museum. Nursing home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame, for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, cancelled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His microphone <laughs> flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Okay. Odin, are you the one who's calling my name? Well, let's put all these useless shotgun shells in here.
Here's the museum. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul. Muses, all gods of Asgard, lead singer. Thrashed hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods' Ragnarok tour. Old Gods of Asgard band member dead. The legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard lost their talented guitarist Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving Odin and Tor behind. When asked about the loss, Tor had this to say, Get that out of my face. He's in Valhalla now. There's the record. Anger's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A rock and roll cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. And on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Anger's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. Uh oh, red lights. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. And all folks care how the anger's remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. Yes. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. I already have. Search Cynthia's room. Where's Cynthia's room? 
She's on the third floor. One of the locked rooms. save again, but that's cool. We're good. Uh-oh. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Go to the basement to restore power. I won't be able to get into these locked doors. Oh, hey. Ati. Mind if I have a look around your room? Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. Bloom like to talk. <laughs> You're so weird. You don't mind if I look through your stuff, do you? that noise all right more shotgun shells to store How do I get to the basement? From the outside? Locked door? What are you talking about? I just came out of that door. There's the basement down there. But I can't get through this gate. I need bolt cutters. Okay, I have a map of the wellness center. So, I guess I need to find bolt cutters. Maybe they're in the wellness center?
There's the doorknob. that noise oh is that a shotgun Storms the Lodge. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Jocko shook his head, pointed his, at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone in the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. It had to be. The Cos Coskella brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge. It's light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brother's new saga was in Watery, visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up at a crowd of deer masks, looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down. It's all over. Only shoot the fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned to face the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. So that's like, that happened a while ago when they came after Wake. That's a shotgun, I think, or a rifle. On greener pastures now. And I really would like to pick it up. Is there a shoebox? Rehabilitation. Okay, cool. Is there a shoebox here? Come on, give me a shoebox. There we go. So, I want to pick up that rifle. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, the crossbow... It just takes forever to load. Maybe this will be enough room for us to carry... What hopefully is a shotgun.
Uh, looks like it's a rifle. Hunting rifle. Okay, not a shotgun. Where have I not gone? Security room. Workshop. Yep. Staff lounge. I've been in all those places. The elevator doesn't work. I think I've explored everywhere. Oh, but this just leads outside on the other side of that fence. So I actually don't need bolt cutters. Actually, I'm going to save. All right, successfully saved with my new rifle. And now I should be able to get to the basement. Because I'm on this side of the fence. And the basement is over here, right? that remember buy more fuses many more crappy old equipment keeps blowing them Very struggles with artists. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Anything new on my case board? The Anderson brothers. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, hey. Thanks, Saga. Into the pond. Disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Cynthia said he's tore to keep him away from me. The 
page says the record will open the overlap, or is the page predetermining it? Am she I tried to drown the, the record in her bathtub. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Fact versus fiction. What did Tor do to make mom leave? Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Okay. Is that everything we gathered? Yep. Can't be opened on this side. More Alan Wake writing. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Okay. Oh, what is this? House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Combination lock. Should we watch this projector? Of course we should. The power's off. Oh. Let's 
Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Man, this place is labyrinth. Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, remind me. Please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. 273. Lots of creepy noises starting. Fuse. A fuse could come in handy. Good for starting generators, I hear. Laughter. I suppose I could carry my crossbow on me too. Good. There. Power's back on. Let's watch a movie. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Little Dario Argento esque there. All right, how do I get out of this place? Oh, hey, I got rifle bullets. Rose, spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room.
How do I get out of here? Straight ahead, right, left. It's not opening. Maybe we need to go around the other side of the boiler. Uh oh. Oh hi. in here Oh hey you weren't there before Still don't have bolt cutters, however. So I've got to go all the way through the wellness center. Because I couldn't possibly, like, jump over that fence either. Right, so now we can open Cynthia's bedroom. You're all just chilling out here still. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> Still here, Adi? How come you're always just like sitting there? Well, here goes nothing. Bathtub. 
Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have left nothing of nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There is no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could go do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Tom Zane, I guess? They were involved somehow? A power station. Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Is that Tom Zane and Barbara? down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? There's the record. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. <laughs> Oh, I don't like you screaming at me mentally. Ellen's Angel Light? Yeah, I guess so. Might as well ransack her place, too. Building the Valhalla nursing home. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing.
The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. With thunder and lightning and the hubris. Uh, how long did I have it muted for a little while? Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll read this again. Uh, a girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, died. She drowned. They found her in a bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home. It was determined to be an accident. So, very low on ammo. 
No pistol ammo, four rifle bullets. Okay, there's some pistol ammo. The rifle packs a wallop, fortunately. Seems to one-shot the normal enemies. Anything else in here? Beware the drowned lady. I presume I don't have a map of this place. Nope. Am I going in circles? Seems to be just going in circles. What if I go back this way? This is where I came from, right? This is the room I spawned into? Yeah. Rip. What's in there? Batteries? please. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Hey. Light does funny things in this game.
Got plenty of healing pads. What am I trying to do exactly? Rescue Tor from the overlap, right? Nora. I'm just going in circles, I think. It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. She's here. I didn't kill her? Now that was some other taken old lady. I don't know if I have enough Again. ammo to fight one of those tough ones. Here again. <sighs> Have I been here? This place is confusing. This looks different. Oh, I can pull that one. Yay, ammunition. Need 
bolt cutters. Tool cabinet key. Can I turn this off? Hey, bolt cutters. My goodness. I had to shoot her in the head like 12 times. Just looking for goodies. Now, if I were Saga, I would have definitely have taken Tor's hammer with me. But she just left it. Rip, Nora. Back again. Gotta go deeper. Empty box, really? You do me like that? Oh, 
Let's tour. Okay, my game is saving. Okay. So there I need to get the lights on to reach him. Elevated areas. Somehow I don't think it's going to be that easy. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. Uh-oh, the ducky. Ducky. I can't stay in the water. Our boy crushed itself into her. Get the power back online. Is that a, there's a doorway over there that's open now? She's coming. She was underwater. Phoebe is a young girl in love. There must be a way to get the power back on. Hurry up, hurry up. It's so dark. 
I just made a loop. No, I didn't. Because this door is closed. Oh no. Get up there. Oh, there's a way over there. Is that the generator? Defeat Cynthia. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Where are you? I'm sorry, I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. All right, where are you? Downstairs? There's the downstairs area now. Heal, heal. Hmm. 
can't really take cover against that attack. I missed. Oh, she shoots two of those things at a time. That attack sucks. Ugh, that attack. So it seems like you can run away from her, like, waves, but, like, the Seeking Darkness projectiles... Those things, you can't run away from, really. Okay, I actually managed to burn them all away that time. Ah, I missed. Yeah, she moves pretty fast.
It's so bogus. Oh, that attack. It's still unfair. Get you. You again. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? the story if this is the past if this is you still in the dark place then you can do that right you cannot write her in she's my daughter god damn it yeah wake logan is in the story i can get him to change it i have the clicker i'll make him change it now he had no right to do this to logan my family. Tor. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> okay we're gonna have to call it here that was an auto save point so wow that was a session <laughs> that was intense very creepy very cool uh i know this game is great i'm just loving it loving it can't wait to see what happens next but unfortunately i do have to call it here for the evening so i hope you enjoyed part eight of my run through of alan wake 2 if you did and you want to support me and my content, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Hope to see you in part 9.